Actually, we are going to go back now to a story we were talking about early. We're going to go to Ecuador where we're talking about the possibility uh, some sectors of the opposition there who are opposed to the government they are calling for a national work stoppage. We're joined by Pablo Bianco. He is in Ecuador. Uh, Pablo, can, can you hear me there? I can hear you. Good afternoon, Cody. Uh, here we are in Plaza Grande, uh, Centro Histórico, the historic center of Quito. As you mentioned, today uh, is the national action called by sectors of the opposition. There's been a few incidences in the city that have been registered so far. Uh, we should see from the Diez uh, de Avenida, where in front of the Social Security, uh, some people were uh, burning uh, some tires. Uh, as well, there's a couple of other uh, roads that have been blocked. But uh, for the most part, uh, things have been calm. Right now, uh, supporters of the government and President Correa are here in the center and will probably be here all evening showing support for the government. I wonder if you can sort of break down the different actors, uh, a part of the opposition that are taking place and calling for these actions. In, in other words, who are the exact people behind these mobilizations? Well, uh, part of the mobilization is called by uh, one sector of the indigenous movement, particularly the Kunaye, as they are called. Uh, there's also some opposition labor unit with uh, FUT, the FUT, uh, who uh, called this uh, national action. However, there's also right-wing leaders, politicians, uh, nominally uh, uh, Andres Paez, uh, as well the national action has been supported by uh, Guillermo Lasso today, Alvaro Navoa, a former presidential candidate from the right, and one of the wealthiest business leaders in the country also uh, announced that they're supporting this national strike, this national state of action called by these officials and sectors. All right, Paulo Bianco joining us from Quito, uh, Ecuador, on the latest for those calls for a national work stoppage. Pablo, thanks again so much.